Williams. There isn't time for the corner. And Italy, who came into this with 11 consecutive victories, aren't winning at half time. That man in Mobile came the closest to changing that with a wonderful effort that came back off the woodwork. Varela denied as well by Backman. But the Watford goalkeeper has his clean sheet intact. And a break. And Austria, the underdogs, are holding Italy, the form team of the tournament. At half time at Wembley, Italy nil, Austria nil. Yes, and Italy have now gone at 1,100 minutes uh, without conceding. And you could think from that first half the fact that it was goalless, it was not entertaining. But um, I don't know about you at home, but um, I thought that was some fabulous football play, particularly by. Italy with the occasional counter-attack from Austria, Alan. Yeah, it's uh, not a lot of it possession-wise, Gary, but certainly Italy have done more with the ball when they've had it. They've created the two or three best chances, but they have to be really, really careful, careful of, as you just mentioned, because Austria, on the counter-attack, when they beat their press, then uh, they could have hurt them with, the, with the, their two chances. Austria still in it, Jürgen, but Italy have impressed us at times. Yeah, the first 20, 25 minutes, I mean, they played, they played you dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was uh, fabulous how they combined um, how fast their, their pace was and passing pace. But what is lacking is a little bit this determination to finish things off, you know, to get off a shot um, or, or a cross and, and have three, four guys that in the box and finish things off. So it's, it's dangerous because there's something in the air. Because every minute Austria is growing. And towards the end of the first half, you could see they were more confident. They, they moved up, uh, high up the field, and they're trying to create their own possibilities. So it's uh, it's going to be a very, very interesting second half. Fascinating contrasting styles, Rio. Yeah, I think surprisingly, I think Austria have been very composed at times in possession. They've slowed things down. They took the sting out of the game at times. I think the Italians, they look their most dangerous and at their best when they press the game. The moment they're on the front foot, they had a throw in the middle of the first half where they pressed and pressed. They retained and recycled position. And that's when they look like they're going to break this team down. And you see Austria then start retreating. They can't deal with it. So I think Mancini will be asking for a lot more of that. We nearly saw uh, one of the goals of the tournament, didn't we, from in Mumbai. It was um, awfully close. Struck by the top of the post, maybe. Yeah. Touch of the crossbar. It wasn't really well there. And a real don't even think of shooting from that. <laughs> don't you do that. Oh, oh, that oh, that's what he was saying. Rio takes a shot a lot. Uh, <laughs> we'll let you know at home during the um, commentary. <laughs> a wonderful, uh, wonderful strike. Sometimes, you know, in, in mobile, it can look clumsy and, and look disinterested. Sir, can you help me? He can also produce something, uh, something like that. So he's really, really unlucky with that. Fabulous strike, Jürgen. Yeah, yeah fabulous strike, but it was uh, surprising because there were uh, five, six, seven shots before that uh, the Austrian defense blocked perfectly and here they just kind of thought oh no he's too far out and you cannot uh, do that with him over there in case he's changed. How do you do this? 45 minutes practice uh, with commentary I'm during that first half we've had to put up with them um, Rio who does tend to get excited at times right here's your chance now to do it for real with the Italian chances. No listen but they, they created chances at times they were very patient um, the ball coming out here at the end of the day when you get these positions you think to yourself, right, it's composure, it's about timing. The spinner's always been the most dangerous player for me, the big threat from left back. There he goes on the outside, which he's well, that's comfortable on his left hand side, he's on his right. Insigne here, again, in tandem with Spinazzola throughout the first half, they've been great together. Once you get this in this position, we all look scratch the head when you get from this this angle crazy. The, the good thing is is that first thought from all Italian players is can they go forward and they yeah. pass it with pace? Into uh, into the, the work of really well there for uh, for Barella and that, that was uh, the best save of the game. It's like some really good stuff. Mancini set his team up and it, it, it is. I mean, it's hard to press. I mean, it's a relatively warm evening. It's hard to press to that.